Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for 86. Logo reveal. Now, make sure you follow my socials and don't forget the YouTuber things. And if you want to check out other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist. Shout out to our amazing patrons over on Patreon, getting access to the full length reactions of all of the anime from fall 2021 onward. If you want to join in and become a patron, then make sure you click the link down in the description. And that way you can get access to those full length reactions for the anime that I watch seasonally. And if you're interested in more exclusive full length unfiltered reactions that won't be edited and uploaded to YouTube for quite a while, got a tear for that previously in 86 we saw some like some pretty crazy shit go down right so we've got first shin losing his shit on the battlefield just taking over sort of like almost like a berserk mode you know this guy just goes in and is just slaying and as a result he sort of seems similar to kiri who is this person who died protecting not died protecting, but died because he uh, he felt like he had nothing to live for anymore. Then on the flip side of things, we saw Lena's side where they more or less, no, I would say less. They don't really hold off the Legion from attacking San Magnolia. In fact, they pushed through the 86th into the 85 districts. And as a result, um, I think that a lot of these San Magnolian people pull back out of the districts, the districts that have been invaded by the Legion. And now they are, at, or at least Lena is actually going to have the 86 come in and sort of occupy those 85 districts, which would be dope. Uh, or not like the entire 85 districts, but part of it. I think that she's more or less like integrating non-Albin people to the to san magnolia and also give them more you know give the non-alba people more which is good because they deserve it though san magnolia is never going to reach like the level of like gaia who actually cares enough to allow groups of people to mingle with one another so honestly i'm okay with them sort of being wiped out or at least i would be okay with the the actual people of san magnolia not government officials not the military I want them to find out just how fucked everything is and maybe they will take strides to include. That would be dope. But that episode ends with a pretty big thing because our our girl, I don't remember her name, the little girl, she senses Kiri and then boom, right? The room that they're in, boom, blows up. Some crazy shit happens. I don't know what's going to happen there, but I want to find out. So let's jump into the next episode. Damn. Okay, so Lena is actually like kind of putting in work here. She's commanding the military here, which is dope. Kind of confused as to what just happened, but yeah, man. Yo, admittedly, I might actually put this as like an S tier OP. This is like literally one of my favorites of the season. This season has some of the most awesome OPs that we've gotten in anime in a while dude last season can't compare to this one at all like not even come close holy shit dude oh my god people got massacred bro you couldn't you bring your fingers tighter or something yeah kitty's a bitch bro nah dude my dog's not dying bro that's the difference here Damn. They got new weapons out there in the Legion? Mm. Yeah, you want to avoid that for sure. You got to send out the peeps. So you're going to send out. I mean, can we just like skip it? They're basically like giving reasons why they have to send out our group. Right. Right. 
Damn, they lost a quarter of their force. Not if you send out the boys and girls. Oh, they got, that's kind of a nice little meal right there, bro. I got some fruits. I got some, okay. Uh, yeah, dude, he fucking went psycho. Yeah. It's not out of pity, dumbass. It's because y'all are fucking... Well, actually, it is kind of out of pity. But... Honestly, they holy shit, that's what happened? Wow. Yo, that they slayed this food. Mm. <laughs> Shin's looking at them all. <laughs> Bro, I feel like I'm not picking up everything in this episode. What is all this? Is this why he went crazy? Why did you kill my brother? Give him back. Alright, first of all. He didn't kill your fucking brother. Mans was already basically dead. Alright, well actually he did kind of kill him. But he was just helping him by killing him. Yo ass is a child, so you don't understand the way that shit works. Children in anime, bro. I guess it's just probably children in general. Don't worry about it, bro. It's nothing to stress about, bro. So that's why he lost his shit and went crazy. Ah. I mean, you should have just brought back his fucking lifeless, destroyed body. You know, gasping for fucking air, blood everywhere. Like, here, here's your brother. I brought him back to you. Who was that? I won't forget. Who, who the fuck was that? Major. Wait, is this a new letter? Or is that the letter? My man's just like fucking all over here. Mm. Why he upside down? Shin's literally fucking unfazed. Aww. Aww. Damn, dude. Nah, my man's not dying, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Well, eh. Dying on the battlefield is potentially part of the job. I don't think that it's like part of the job. Like definitely. I wouldn't I wouldn't phrase it like that. It it could be part of the job, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. Damn, dude. Damn, bro. She almost killed our boy. Damn. He's still gonna survive, but okay. Mm. 
The Republic's monsters? See, even these assholes treat them like shit. Bro. Now I don't even give a shit about fucking Gaia, dude. Like, why is there no country that is actually, like, a solid country? Everybody's just fucking assholes to these people. Man, yeah, fuck you. They don't give a shit what you gotta say. Bro, all they do is fight. That's what they do. Shut the fuck up, old man. Damn. Yep. Aw. Damn. Damn, bro. I feel really bad for the fucking 86, you know? Damn, this is Sam Magnolia, right? Yep. Well, shit. All right, so let's talk about the episode, man. This is um some pretty wild shit. Now, you know, I don't really keep track of the dates and shit, so I like I do a bad job with that. Uh the episode starts off with basically seeing this area within San Magnolia being destroyed by Legion and they are uh the San Magnolians are trying to or not San Magnolians, probably just like the 86, of course are just trying to hold off the Legion as much as they can. We see later on in the episode when Shin is like marking off where everyone is, he's like, uh, yeah, they're like all up in San Magnolia right now. Often referred to as the pu the Republic in, in this, right? So um, we see all this shit going down and then we cut back over to uh, Shin and what happened there, the big explosion. It didn't actually hurt any of them really so much as it fucked up the base that they were in blew like this massive crater right outside 20,000 people lost they lost like a quarter of their of their of their um of their military i guess or a quarter of their troops which is like wow that's a lot of people to lose we see this stuff about this letter from the the one dude that our boy had to pop up his little sister sent our boy a letter that's what caused him to go crazy and fucking just start slaying out during that last battle and i can't tell if he got another letter from her or not i just can't tell honestly he should he shouldn't care too much uh just like like he has to take care of himself he has to take care of his group the like his spearhead 86 group caring about other people like that is just like that's just gonna hold him back from being able to accomplish what he needs to accomplish we find out that there is this giant rail gun a giant like mortar gun that basically shoots far as fuck and um, airstrikes aren't gonna really work on it. So what are they gonna do? They're going to send the 86 to go and destroy it. Pretty predictable, right? The big mission occurs. Who are you gonna send? The main characters, the people that have already been out in the battlefield, have already taken on Legion like that, have already destroyed giant uh, Legion mechs. So it's like, yeah, it just makes sense at this point. They also find out about the psychic abilities that Shin has. And maybe they're gonna let everyone know about that, which is bad because then everyone's gonna know and they're gonna try and take advantage of it. Like uh, Morpho or like those Mo Morpho or whatever. I think that's one of the other nations. And then there's another nation. One of them's probably gonna try and take over Shin and the 86 Spearhead group, use them. Like, I don't think that our, our, our group is ever gonna be able to avoid being used until they are no longer... Oh, Morpho is actually the big robot, my bad. So I meant uh, Roa Gracia, you know, the, the UK and the Alliance of Wald or whatever, Wald and UK. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I feel like one of them is gonna try and take over our, our peoples, my bad. Morpho is the giant... Pew. 
Railgun. Anyways, it's fucked because they either look down on the 86 group or they just don't give a fuck about them, right? So they're either like, oh, you've been in too much battle. You shouldn't go out there. Oh, you should live your life. Stop doing this. And it's like, that's pity for them, right? But then on the other side of things, well, I guess they always look down on them. That's one way. The other way is like, oh, you've been out there enough. Like you can go out there, you do that shit. Um, that's suitable for your kind of people, the 86, you disgusting military drones of the uh, Republic. It's fucked, man. No matter what, they're never treated the way that they should be treated. You know, uh, like fucking people. All of it has to do with how they were treated by the Republic of San Magnolia. They were treated as these military drones, you know, these people that they send out to go and do the fucking heinous acts, to go and die, essentially. So they've been being raised to go and die, essentially. Uh, and as a result, that's the only way that they look at these people. Because first they look down on them, they're like, you've been through enough, you don't need to go out there anymore. But that's not how they're ever gonna see things because for years, they have been skating the line of life and death, avoid narrowly avoiding death as they go out there and fight Legion, right? So this is the life that they live. This is all that they really know because for years, this is all that they've done. And as a result, it would be tough for somebody to, to just give up this, this thing that, the one thing that they've been believing in. Oh, if we can just end this, then life can can be normal, maybe? They can't just give up on something like that. I don't know. It's a tough situation to be in. It's a tricky one. But I think that there are some people that sympathize with our group at least a little, which is good. Then on the other side of things, and, and you also see the way that the 86 reacts as well, like especially near the end when they're in that room, they get the briefing. You know, you can tell that they, ne they just don't feel like they belong. They don't feel like they can fit in. They feel alone. But at the same time, they just have to put on a smile and just keep going out there and pushing, you know, keep chugging along. Like it's it's not something that they can just really reflect on. They don't really get a moment to 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 take in anything. They just have to go and, and do. That's fucked, man. That's fucked. Also, that was a pretty emotional moment, I would say, when Shin is like. Basically, he's remembering all of the people from his spearhead group, the, all those people that died. They're all like basically having a conversation with one another about him being sent on to this mission, this suicide mission, essentially. And yeah, I mean, they're just like, yeah, it's just like, yeah, they're going to send you out there a suicide mission. And then you see them turn into the name tags. And I was like, damn, bro, that's fucked. But I think he, he I don't know, there's something... Lena, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Lena though. Lena never wanted that for him. Never wanted that for any of them. But, but I think that she also respected them. She wanted to help them to accomplish their goal of ending shit. I don't know. At least that's how I'm taking it. I don't know exactly because I feel like I'd be missing some shit. There's like a lot of dialogue in this because, you know, light novel. There's a lot of story here, a lot of dialogue. Things that I low-key feel like I'm missing. I'm probably going to at one point read 86 just because there's so much that I do feel like I'm missing and that'd be dope to go over it because again, yeah, there's a lot that I feel like I'm missing. The end of the episode, I guess, is showing that area that was being destroyed by the Legion in San Magnolia. I'm just hoping that, yeah, fuck, fuck the Republic, dude. If they get fucked up, do I care? I don't know. I have zero attachment to the people there aside from Lena. That's it. Zero attachment to anyone else. Everyone else there fucking sucks. But from here, I want to know what you all thought of the episode. Um, where do you think things are going? Especially on the Lena side of things, where we just don't... Where we This season has not been focused around her. It has been so focused around Shin and the original Spearhead group, the 86 group inside of the Federation right now. It's been focused on them. I... Would love to see more from Lena's side of things and how they, how San Magnolia is handle this, handling this whole thing. Just because I feel like the 86 don't give a fuck about San Magnolians. Like if they die, okay. You know, so I, I'm interested in that. But yeah, I want to know what you all thought of the episode. How'd you feel about that moment where he's like, you know, remembering his group and stuff behind him? Like that shit, I feel like probably hit. And any other moments, you know, whatever sticks out here. If there's something you think that I maybe missed or misinterpreted, please do leave a comment about it down in uh, down below. So that way I can maybe correct whatever I was thinking. 
or notice the thing that I missed. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions, manhwa chapter reactions, and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.